Mrs. Lang, thank you very much uh, for your participation today to, the, to this conference. Uh, I would like to ask you, this is a difficult time indeed for different expenditures, for different programs, huge criticism among uh, member states' constituencies to go towards the Italy expenses, especially in Italy. And furthermore, uh, we, we, are, we observe some difficulties to launch big programs in European countries. IDA is a key institution, a very interesting actor, but it has limited means too. What, what can you actually do to improve the situation without the perspective of the European I think what, what you describe is the overall situation, the fact that the threats are clearly increasing. Threats when we are discussing the and at the same time the resources are scarce. We need to really use the instruments we have. And I think EDA is clearly the instrument to find the way to make our spending more efficient and working together. And that we created 10 years ago to do what? To support member states cooperation programs, capability, from the definition of the requirement to the management of it. Second, to support research and technology, and third, to support European industry and industry base. Uh, we are at a moment where it's true that we have limited resources. We know why we need a majority of the member states to decide on the project. But I think the main question is not here. What is important is the resources that the states, the nations, the member states put for action, for acting together in cooperation. And again, it's not the main, the main issue is the budget of the agency itself. It's a budget that the member states put in cooperation. I think that the decisions that have been taken by the heads of state and government in the European Council recently last December, that is to launch four significant programs and to task EDA to lead the work of these four programs, which is actuary, human, drones, cyber, defense, and space, satellite communication, firstly. And secondly, to promote incentives to go to cooperation. Because everybody is always saying that there is a lack of political will, not that sure. Firstly, about public opinion. Perhaps there are public opinion legitimate in a legitimate way is wondering about the balance between defense, health, uh, other domains where we, we have to spend money. But at the same time, they recognize that what is expected from the European Union is security and defense everywhere in Europe even in the more sceptical countries vis-à-vis -vis the European Union. What is required from the European level is security and defence. Then, to make sure that we can cooperate together to do so, and EDA has been created 10 years ago to do so. We have now the push of necessity. Well, I understand the question today is luxury or necessity. It's clearly necessity. We have the will of the heads of state and government, also the defence ministers. The defence ministers are the shareholders of European defence and again, I think it's time for action and we have the instruments for that. Very small question, very good. We are in Rome today and there is an important political dynamic around the new term. We have this dispute, as we are speaking here. Uh, it is the Italian semester, the presidency semester. Are you ex expecting some uh, political push from Italy during those next six months? Yes, of course. <laughs> Italy, firstly, had always been a founding father of Europe and a very uh, uh, forward uh, lead uh, member of the European Union. Secondly, it's a moment where we really need it. And of course, seen from other European countries, yes, it's Italy won a strong political support for your Prime Minister, and for Europe during the last parliamentary election, which is unhappily not the case in many member states. And Italy has a particular legitimacy to lead uh, the, the movement of Europe. And also, because you know we have the new Lisbon Treaty, to make sure that there is a full synergy Italian semester responsibility uh, is that in all 
EU policies, community policies in particular, and at the same time what is done on uh, security and defense and the role of the institutions uh, in charge of security and defense. Then it's, what is expected is both, again, the traditional but even reinforced uh, by the legitimacy of the recent election, and at the same time, this synergy between the European traditional policies and what can be done by the President of the European Council, who is the next High Representative, and by uh, the Commission vis-à-vis -vis this synergy.